Hi everyone and welcome back to Barbie Dolls of the Week. Well this week, besides wearing my wonderful Selena shirt that I like so much, um, I wanted to show you some things that I got at the Southport Antique Mall here in town. Um, I talked about this I believe in spring the last time I went and you know it's just it's a really great antique mall if you're ever in the area of south kind of south side of Indy and um, I mean I spent like two hours there yesterday and a few dollars so I want to show you what I got and shout out to the lady who helped me there because while I was getting the first things I'm going to show you she told me about the other thing and the sale that was going on at 50% at that booth and that's where I got the last thing so I'll tell you about that. So first of all, I want to show you, this is, a, this is not a Barbie magazine, but I, there's a reason I'm going to show you this. So I got this, I like circus related stuff too, a little bit. So I found this for five bucks, this Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus souvenir program and magazine from 1972. It's in great condition and it's the 101st edition, it says. Of, I don't know if they mean the magazine or the circus itself. But, you know, there's all kinds of circus things in here, like this thing with the elephants, which, you know, I know that's not popular anymore, or people don't like it because they don't like the elephants and other animals to be treated that way. And I'm, I'm glad the circuses are gone, actually, in that sense. Uh, the animal part, I mean. I, I'm fine with the human part and the, you know, the trapeze and the clown. So, for instance, here's a picture of the trapeze. So there's a lot of cool pictures in here, but look what I happened to find. I thought this was so interesting. So they're talking about the greatest show, meaning this one, the greatest show on Earth. But inside they have the greatest toy show on Earth. And again, this is from the early 70s, so there's all kinds of stuff in here. But if you look closely, look what happens to be in here. This is um, 19, probably 72, I'm assuming, but says, Busy Barbie and Ken have special hands to pick up all their fun playthings. So, there they are. I thought that was so interesting that there was a Barbie and Ken in this. And also a Big Jim, which I like Big Jim action figures too. So, yeah, really cool. Mattel is sponsoring this page, I guess, because their logo is at the bottom. Uh, there's some other dolls and cars, including these little talk-ups talk dolls. I've never heard of those. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. But the main thing I got there yesterday were some of the Fashion Avenue. And I just want to talk about Fashion Avenue outfits for a minute. You know, these outfits were really popular for a while. And, I mean, they seemed like they went on in the early 2000s for, for some years. I'm not exactly sure how many. but So I found a booth that had um, probably about eight of them. And I bought a few that were uh, they pretty good prices, I think, for... Usually when you get these in the box nowadays, they're more than what I paid. So this is a Ken outfit that I, I don't remember seeing this one before. It's actually pictured on the back, but it kind of reminds me of Pimp Ken. I don't know why, but it just, yeah, just something about it. Look at those shoes, by the way. They're quite kind of clunky looking and, and big heel, a uh, big thick heel on them. Or, you know, bottom part. So yeah, this is an interesting look. And again, here's what it looks like on the doll. Um, and you know, you see some of the other fashion avenues that were available. I really like this one and this one. So I tended to like the more glamorous ones. I think this one is probably my favorite on this of the ones on this page. But this series, I must have kind of stopped collecting them at that point because I don't have any of the ones on here except now this one. But, um, yeah, any of the others, I don't have them. So these must have been a little later. And maybe these were also from the late 90s, I should say. Again, I'm not sure the exact dates it went from. If anybody knows, I'd be curious to know that. Um, but, yeah, Fashion Avenue was very good quality. And I just love so many of them. Here's the ones, by the way, on the back of this one. And on these, I think I have this Ken one, I believe. And actually, I think that's it on the, this particular group that's pictured. It also says Fashion Avenue Style Guide Inside. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but 
I don't know if that's a booklet, like one of the little booklets that shows what's all available or something where you can mix and match. I don't know. But anyway, I love this outfit. This little school schoolgirl type thing. Um, it's got leggings and, you know, the, the sleeves. I just think it's really cute. And it's got some cute little short boots. So, yeah, I really wanted that one. And this one, by the way, let me see if I see a date on this. 19, I think it's, let me see. Ooh, this one's 97, so they must go back farther than I remembered. So, again, I, I don't know when exactly they started, but this one was, let me double check the date on this, 2001. So, you've got 97 and 2001 represented. And let me see what this next one is. So this next one is under the Deluxe Fashion Avenue. And actually, if you look at the back of this one, I have all of these except this, which I don't care for all that much. It's just okay. So I have all four of these. And this is just one of my favorites. In fact, it's on a doll somewhere. I'm not sure where it is right now. But yeah, it's on. I have it in a somewhere. <laughs> I'd have to look. So, this is the, the outfit in question. This is, uh, let's see if it has a name. It has a number over here, 14307, I believe that says. But yeah, I don't see, I guess they didn't have names on them. For some reason, I was thinking they did. It says, Real Fashions for Barbie. And I, I, I would have to agree, these were actually real fashions versus, I guess, not so real fashions that we have sometimes today. This is also a 1996 one. So, again, now we have 96 to 2001, and, and I'm pretty sure they went beyond 2001, but like I said, I couldn't say 100%. So, yeah, but this one I, I actually really like. Um, I like the fact that it has sleeves again, and the light blue I think would be really pretty on the right doll. I love these shoes that are glittery, kind of remind me of Crystal Barbie shoes. Um... Not so crazy about the little fabric purse or bag, but it's just there. <laughs> they did a lot of times have bags with the outfits. Um, I love this Ken outfit. This this has been my favorite Ken outfit for a while, and I've got it on a Ken over there. Um, I see it on the top. It's actually on a totally hair Ken, I believe that is. So, yeah, looks good on him. Actually, I think it looks better than who they've got it on. So what do you all think of these, especially these two um, Fashion Avenue outfits? I just really like them. Like I said, there was probably at least another five there that I didn't get, and I didn't like them as much. But, you know, you have to only get so much. And so these are the three that I picked. And, yeah, this one, I believe, was $15. So I don't remember. Does anybody remember how much these were when they were sold? Like, this would have probably been... 10 bucks, I'm guessing, but I'm not sure. And this would have been at least 15. So, in you know, back then, but uh, nah, again, I'm not sure. It's been too long. And then, like I said, while the lady was opening the case for me for these three and to look at some of the other loose fashions the, the booth had, and uh, I don't think they had any dolls, but they had some furniture, but nothing I wanted in those. Um, she told me about a couple dolls that had come in in another booth. In the back, um, which I had gone through the whole place at that point, but I did not see these because they were really low on a shelf, kind of hidden away. And she brought me back, and this is what I ended up with, which I've never had this doll, and I'm so happy to be able to have this doll now. Um, this is, of course, Byron L Lars' design Into the Limelight um, doll with, uh, I believe, I'm going to take a guess here, is this the Nichelle face mold? I'm not sure, but um, as you know, I'm not good with face molds. That's one thing I'm just not too knowledgeable about. Um, I know some of them, you know, the obvious ones. So anybody let me know if this is indeed Nichelle or what face mold this is. But it, it was missing a rubber band, so I put a new rubber band in and kind of fluffed out uh, her hair because it was just down. And um, I just think it's a really cool doll. I, I think the green or the lime color is what makes the, the whole outfit come together. It just gives it that pop of color that I really like. So 
So let's take a closer look at this doll, and I'm going to take her off this stand that came to... By the way, real quick question while I'm thinking about it. Does anybody know, on these stands that sometimes get put out today, there's a little plastic piece that, you know, you hold the doll with, and they break. I've had two or three break in the last year that I can think of. Does anybody know if you can get separate ones of those somewhere? Because I hate to waste these. I threw one of these out recently because I'm like, what am I going to do with it? It's just like this one. No, nothing to hold a doll with. And I mean, you could use a rubber band with this. I believe I've done that, but I don't really need them so desperately right now to maybe take the time to do that. So, but if anybody knows another option, uh, I would, and, and hopefully one that doesn't break so easy, that would be nice. So back to this doll. So here's what the back looks like. Um, you know, this particular pattern is just okay for me. I don't, when you see it like this, and there's so much, and that's basically all you're seeing. Well, of course, her hair and her fluffy little uh, fake fur, muffy parts. Well, it's to me not that appealing. It's okay. But it's when you add the green and the... Um, dark color here that it comes together for me especially I love this stripe down the middle which is just um, a thread I guess you know like a shiny thread and of course I don't mind fake fur I don't like real fur of course but um, I do like her face um, the makeup is well done I think she has great eyes uh, lips look good uh, I do wonder what it would look like uh, with a little different color in the eye makeup or on the lips to bring out some more color in her, you know, get add some more color, like a little bit of contrasting something. So I like it, but I just think, honestly, it could look better with maybe a slightly different look on the face as far as the colors of the makeup. Not sure, but that's a gut feeling that I think would be the case. Um, but I like this one. Let's look at her shoes, by the way, and I assume these are the shoes that came with it originally. So she's got shoes with straps, which is nice, because I don't think that was that common back then. Uh, but that way they're much more likely to stay on. And this dress is kind of like a velvety material. Uh, it's probably not real velvet, but I mean, feels velvety. Here's what the inside looks like. So the inside is actually a little bit lighter color. You can see them together, the dark in, outside and the inside. Um, so it feels like two layers, like this. It, it might not be, but it kind of feels like two layers. And that's why they would have that stitching, maybe. Or it's just, that's the inside of that fabric. And it's just, they have to stitch it up to so it's not just, you know, loose threads. Um, the only problem with this is, you know, it does get some uh, fuzzies and furries on this very easily. So, you know, I feel like myself constantly picking them off because I don't want them on there. Uh, the way this top part of this, which I don't know what to call this. I mean, it's sort of like a cape, but it's also a jacket. So, cape jacket. Um, I noticed when you lift that up, guess what? The green is under there, too. So, so actually, you see the dress does go all the way up past her chest. Uh, and this is just like, I don't know. That's probably my least favorite part is the way this lays. I just wish it was cut off here. And it was this same cape with the sleeves, but not this part. But I don't know. Again, maybe that wouldn't look great. But I really like the doll as a whole. So these are just suggestions that might even make it better in my very personal opinion. But... <laughs> But I'll leave it to the designer, Byron Lars. He's the one that designed this, and obviously he liked it that way, so that's fine. Uh, it's his design. He gets to do whatever he wants. Uh, and I'm just happy to own it, especially for such a good price. So I think that lady at Southport Antique, and I didn't get her name, unfortunately, so uh, she is a Barbie collector too, so she almost got this for herself, she said, but uh, she asked me when I was getting the outfits if I was a Barbie collector, and I said yes, and she said, oh, well, you might be interested in this, and this was on sale. Get this for I think it was either twelve fifty or thirteen fifty, because it was twice that, and he had the booth had a fifty percent off sale that I didn't even notice originally, 
I don't think. So I got a really good deal on that. And I've always wanted this doll, but I never got her. And uh, she's out of the box. So I'm not that worried about that. Now I don't have to worry about whether I should or should not take her out of the box. She's out of the box. So what do you all think of this doll? I know I got a good deal, so I don't have to ask that. But um, yeah, she's just really well put together. I, I love this stitching in the front, by the way. It just, to me, it all goes together well. And like I said, my two suggestions are just for my personal taste that might make it look better to me. But, um, like, sort of like that, you know, if this came up here. And I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it looks fine the way it is. It's just the way this kind of sits here is why I'm not crazy about that part. But let me give you a closer look at her face. I think that she's got a little dot up here that I'm going to see if that's just dirt and maybe take that off her forehead. See that right there? So I'll do that after the video so I don't forget. But um, yeah, I'm really glad to have gone there yesterday and gotten some really good deals. That book was five bucks. I think it's well worth five bucks and this was well worth around 13 bucks. So with that, I'm going to thank you for watching. And by the way, have a happy Halloween if you haven't celebrated it yet and you do celebrate it tomorrow uh, be safe and i hope the weather is good if you're you or your kids are going to go out trick-or-treating i don't really do that but um you know maybe i'll do other things uh, definitely we go out to eat so you all take care and i will talk to you next time Bye bye